Hi and welcome to another Python programming series. In this series, we are going to work on a Python project that is a voice assistant. We are going to make a voice assistant that can tell us the current date and time, greet us, search for information about any person on Wikipedia, answer a few general questions about itself, open applications and websites, search for anything on Google and YouTube, change the wallpaper of our computer, play music, empty our recycle bin, make notes, tell a joke, open location on Google Maps, email to someone, tell us the weather of any city, tell us the latest news, send a message, calculate sums, and answer probably any question you ask. And and and, it can also order a pizza. Yes, a real pizza delivered to your house. Now the link for the code of this project is in the description of the video. You can just steal the code and have fun adding your own features. Now if you want the code with tips, comments and explanation of how everything works that could help you to understand the code better, you can be a patron at patreon.com slash Dion Cardoza. The link is in the description. So are you excited? Let's get started. So the first thing I want you to do is to open up your browser and head over to jetbrains.com slash pycharm. Now here we will be downloading an IDE that stands for Integrated Development Environment and that means a code editor that has some additional features that makes it easy to write code. You can continue with the VS code if you want. For programs which are more than 500 lines I prefer to use PyCharm because it is easier and faster. So on this page click on downloads. On the download page you can see two versions of PyCharm. One is the professional edition which has additional features and you have to pay for that. The other is the free community edition and that is what we are going to be using in this tutorial. So go ahead and download this. So here is the main page of PyCharm you are going to see every time you open it. Click on create a new project. This is the location of our project. Let's call this project voice assistant. Now before clicking create, expand this item here. Make sure that the base interpreter is set to python3. Now here create a new file. So click here. Now click on new and select python file. Let's call this file voice assistant. Now here you can see that pycharm automatically adds the .py extension. Now the first thing we will do is ignore all the warnings that we get during the execution of this program. Warning messages are typically issued in situations where it is useful to alert the user of some condition in a program. So before we write our main program we need to filter warnings and to do this we need to import the warning module. The warnings module is the built in module in python. So on the top type import warnings. In the next line type warnings dot filter warnings and inside the parenthesis add quotations and type ignore. The warnings filter controls whether warnings are ignored or displayed. Now we will set our engine to python text to speech 3. This module is used for the conversion of text to speech in our program. It also works offline. Now in this program I will be using both python text to speech 3 and google text to speech module. You can use any one of them. So now we need to install the python text to speech module and to do this open up your terminal window by clicking here and type pip install python text to speech x3. Make sure you spell everything properly. Now press enter. Now if you find any issues while installing this package let me know in the comment section. Now let's import this module. So on the top type import pytts x3 all in lowercase. Now here on the pypi page you can see this documentation. Go through it if you want to do any changes to this program. Back to our program let's initialize our engine. So to do this. Let's define a variable called engine and set it to pyttsx3.init and parenthesis. Now here on the pypi page, you can see that we have this voice property. Let's copy this. So this code here is to get and set the voice property of our assistant. Now here you can change the voice id to 0 for a male voice. 
In this tutorial, we will be using a female voice. So in the next line, let's create a function. Let's call this function talk and let's pass a parameter called audio to it. Inside this function, type engine.say and inside the parenthesis audio. And in the next line, engine.run and wait and add a parenthesis. So here A and W are in uppercase. So whenever we call this talk function and pass a string, it will speak out that string. Now let us test this. So in the next line, call this function and type this is a test. Now let's run our program. This is a test. So our program says this is a test. So that is it for this tutorial. Please support my hard work by liking this video and sharing it with others. Also leave a comment letting me know what more do you want to learn in this voice assistant series. Also subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.